Prosperity Bank offers free checking. Let's take a look. No monthly maintenance fee? Check. No individual check fees? Check. Free debit card? Check. Unlimited withdrawals? Check. Free online banking? Check. Easy access and friendly service? Check. Close to home? Check. Simply free checking from Prosperity Bank is simply free. I'm taking these checks to the bank. Prosperity is the big bank with your community's bank inside. Prosperity Bank, where you find real bankers, not just a bank. Your favorite thing delivered right to your door means that you never have to stop doing your other favorite thing. Nailed it. Order McDelivery in the app. From a work perspective, what am I most thankful for? I'm thankful for working with a great team. I'm thankful for working for a company that's faith-based. And I'm truly thankful to be able to take time to pray with my patients if they need it. Having a good team to work with and a great, all, all my supplies are there. I got equipment if I need it and it helps at a phone call away if I need that as well. I've never had a time where I didn't feel like that. I couldn't get what I needed to do my job. We work together as a team here at Baylor and I really appreciate that. I'm thankful that I have the ability to work. The physical ability, the mental ability. I think every day that I walk into the pharmacy, everybody greets me as soon as I walk in the door. And it's a small gesture, but it goes a long way and it starts your day off right. I do feel like I'm fulfilling my calling, even if it's, you know, the last job that I have. I'm thankful for God leading me here to work. I feel like I am growing into a much better nurse and I've been a nurse for a long time. When I go home at the end of each shift, whether I had a bad day or a good day, I'm ready to come back to work the next morning. And I know a lot of nurses, unfortunately, don't get to feel that way about their job, but this is how we feel here. And it's not just me, it's everybody around me. My team, they welcome me and respect me, my differences, my culture, and I don't feel isolated when I'm with them. They welcome my ideas, you know, they're always there for me. We see people, a lot of brokenness, you know, physical, emotional, come through rehab, um, but just walk, just walking beside them in this and being able to help them get better to see the outcomes of it is just, it's really rewarding. I mean, I'm so grateful for Baylor, really. I love it here. Baylor's a very good place to work for. It's different. I've worked at other larger hospitals and I would never go anywhere else. I'm thankful for what I do. I'm thankful for the patients that we take care of. Uh, I'm thankful for my calling, my ministry, you know, is helping those who can't help themselves, being there for them. So I'm, I'm thankful for all that I can do for someone else who can't do for themselves. Sometimes managing your health and keeping track of all the details can feel a little overwhelming. <laughs> But UT Health East Texas Virtual Care makes it easy to stay connected with your health care. You can message your doctor, see test results, pay your bills on time, and even request on-demand video visits to be seen right away from the comfort of your own home. All through your smartphone, tablet, or computer from virtually anywhere. Less stress, more living. Your team leaves everything on the field. They play with heart and with their mind. But being smart starts long before the kickoff. With the latest technology, sports medicine advancements, expert physicians, we can keep your team healthy and protect joints and growing bones for this big moment and their future on any field. Physician-owned Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine & Joint Hospital. Welcome to Trinity Valley Community College, home of the mighty Cardinals, offering hands-on education with an average teacher to student ratio of one to 20 at a third of the price of regional institutions. We teach, we strive, we succeed. TVCC, it makes sense.
Apply today at tvcc.edu. When joints begin to fail, it's more than an inconvenience. The relentless grinding pain slows you down and can even stop you from doing the things you enjoy in life. At UT Health East Texas, our skilled orthopedic and sports medicine experts are using advanced joint technologies to get you back to being you sooner with a less painful recovery. We're doing more than restoring joints. We're restoring lives. And there you have it, McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwich from the makers of the world's most stolen fries. The juicy chicken sandwich from the place that offers extra napkins for a reason. The tender chicken sandwich from the creators of a sandwich phenomenon. So you won't just be biting into a chicken sandwich, you'll be biting into McDonald's new crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich. A quality, affordable education is not out of reach. In fact, it's closer and more convenient than you might think. Trinity Valley Community College, with locations in Athens, Palestine, Terrell, and Kaufman, offers day and evening courses, online courses, and provides dual credit classes for high school students. TVCC is also home to several national championship sports programs. Welcome to the Cardinal Sports Network's presentation of basketball at Trinity Valley Community College. We are coming to you live from Leon Spencer Court and Historic Cardinal Gym where this afternoon in a Region 14 Conference Women's Showdown, the 12th ranked Lady Cardinals take on the Angelini College Lady Roadrunners. Lady Cardinals are 17 and 5 overall, 7 and 3 in conference play, and Angelina is 17 and 7 overall and 9 and 1 in leading Region 14 conference. And let's just take a quick look at the Region 14 conference standings. I am Benny Rogers along with Tim Howard. And Tim, as I bring you in here, we can take a look at the standings and you just see the importance of the contest as Angelina leads the conference with a 9 and 1 mark. The Lady Cardinals are 7 and 3. The Lady Cardinals have won 30 of the last 32 conference titles, won or shared. And if they want to keep that hopes alive tonight to make it 31 or 33, you can see the standings now. We're running we're late in the season. They've got to get this one today. Absolutely. Benny, uh, two games separating the top four teams between uh, TVCC, or Blinn, TVCC, Kilgore, and Angelina. A win today puts the Lady Cards right back in the thick of it. They'd be one game back. But like you said, a loss. And you pretty much uh, need a miracle to, you, to get you, that you, conference. You would at that point. You, you definitely be swinging for the fences. Yeah. Angelina beat the Lady Cardinals the first time around in Lufkin last month, Tim, 82 to 78. In that game, the the Lady Roadrunners were up 26 at halftime, 26. Leading, leading by a 50 to 24 count. They hit six three pointers in the first quarter. So, oh by the way, what do you think the priority is for the Lady Cardinal defense today? Uh, maybe to stop the three. Maybe so. <laughs> you, you told me before we cracked the mic. Hey, this team's averaging eight threes a game, 7.9 officially. And, and putting up 27 a and, game. And I was going to say, they aren't shy when it comes to the three-point line. 27 three-pointers a game, making eight of them. So you're you're going to have to defend. That was one of the things uh, a few weeks ago that got them behind the eight ball on the road. They had such a hill to climb, and it was just a little too much. This time around, though, they've got some more firepower at the uh, Lady Cardinals' disposal. Well, we, the Lady Cardinals really do. They didn't have Kiera Sanderlin or Imani Jenkins in that seven-person rotation they had at the time. Those are two key elements. As we saw Imani Jenkins in Wednesday night's win over TJC, 83-56, to put up 25 points and hit five three-pointers. That was an incredible run. And you go back to the seven that they did have, they almost did it with that that, that push. That, that speaks so much. To the energy level of this team, the never say die attitude. Uh, we're we're playing 40, uh, 40 minutes, not playing players. Boy, they would love for that. That's, uh, but starting to be able to have a little more flexibility in the rotation. And Tim, we've seen Amani Jenkins. This is her third game back against TJC Wednesday night, and you pointed this out the other night. I thought it was a great point that you observed. 
she has only played in three games. She's got fresher legs than everybody else is going to have, and that could play huge for the Lady Cardinals down this stretch in which they've got still got to play Angelina, and they've still got a return match against Kilgore, who they lost to the first time around. Yeah, Monty has got a, a, a step on, on these guys. And co coming with that, though, you might be on the other side of the coin going, oh, well, she's got a player way into shape. No, 20, 25, <laughs> uh, point, five well, threes the other day. And I think we both agree. It's what she did defensively and how unselfish yes. she was on the offensive end that we that stood out to us more than the 25 points. Exactly. They've had, uh, you know, just a, just a stellar performance from her. And, and it's been a big lift, I think, for the Lady Cardinals because we we have had to dwell on it. It's been the, the, the deck that they've had, the hand of, they've drawn this year, just not a lot between injuries and, and a, a lack of depth on the floor. Here's the feel I, feeling I've got this Lady Cardinal team. It feels almost like, Tim, they weathered the storm yeah. early on with all those injuries in the seven-person lineup. They got it out of there with just five losses, just five losses. Just the, the three conference losses were two, four, and four points. And when you think about that, two, four, and four, of those five losses, I'm looking at Precious Ivy in her fifth year. Did I write that right? You got 117 and 14. 117 and 14. So, I mean, it, it's, uh, you know, it, it kind of speaks it all into uh, what, what they've been experiencing. Tim, let's look at some numbers. The Lady Cardinals are averaging 79.4 points a game. Angelina's averaging 73.5. The Lady Cardinals are giving up 61.9, and Angelina's giving up 64.6. So it's pretty, much, it's pretty much a standoff. It is a standoff, as I've got to work in. Any opportunity, I, no, I won't do that. I'll try to be a little more professional. But it is a standoff. You've got, you've got to find a way to counter, you know, anything that happens. You're going to have to come back the other way. But absolutely, folks, the serious, the, the key for the Lady Cardinals today is to stay on the shooters. And you look at these line, these three-point shooting totals for the Lady, Lady Roadrunners, 22, 37, 58, 39, and 14. And yeah. they've got one with nine. Yeah, there's there's not a, a weak spot. on If they're behind the arc, if they're behind the arc at all, there there's a good opportunity that it's going down. And if it's going down, it ain't because I shot one and it was all <laughs> luck. It's because of skill. So the, the Lady Cards are going to have to defend the perimeter. We appreciate you joining us on the Cardinal Sports Network today, folks. we got a, a crowd filing in. I think it would be a good crowd by the time it's over. This is a cool day here in Athens. Temperature about 42 degrees at game time outside with a strong north wind. And if you're on blood thinners like I am, you, you can really feel the bite that wind has. It has. It's been a cold day. It's as I uh, break a few HEPA laws and talk about my blood. Thinner. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 definitely uh, a little nip in the air out there, and uh, so a lot of folks making their way into historic Cardinal Gymnasium. We have the starting lineups momentarily for both teams. For the Lady Cardinals today, we'll be starting Lydia Mwamba, Kennedy Davis, Kara Sandlin, Brianna Baxter, and Madison Bush. And Precious Ivy's been tweaking with that starting lineup back and forth with various players coming in and out. But it's a nice, nice problem, a nice little solution to have as opposed to a problem that she did face. Don't you think that Precious Ivy has to just feel like the weight of the world has come off her in the last few weeks just because of options now? A little, she's probably got to feel like she's got 15 players at her disposal. Hey, that's what it, it feels like. I mean, it's like, well, couple, we picked up a couple of fouls early in the game the other night, and there was no real panic um, because when you've done it with six players at times and, and negotiated it, it makes you feel pretty good about moving forward. Well, let's have the introduction of the starting lineups in the National Anthem. We'll have this Region 14 Conference Showdown underway momentarily here on the Cardinal Sports Network. At this time, please stand. Gentlemen, remove your head covers as we honor America with the playing of our National Anthem.
the Cardinal Regiment. Thank you, you may be seated. Today is our pink out game and, and halftime. And fighters, so please stick around for our halftime show. And now the starting lineups for the Angelina College League Awards. Prize for number one, Jenny Quinn's got 22 three pointers on the season. The man's got 37 three pointers on the season. Myra Walker, considered one of the best players in the league, has got 58 three-pointers and averaging 19.9 points a game. Ken Mimbi has 14 three-pointers. The Lady Roadrunners are coached by Byron Coleman in his 17th year as head coach, 22nd overall year at the school. Good guy, one of my good friends in the league. has been around forever. Liddy's averaging 19 points a game, and she's got 33 pointers. Kennedy's got 27 three-pointers, averaging 8.6 points a game. Kiera's averaging 14 points a game, and she's got six three-pointers on the season. Brianna's got an, averaging 9.9 .9 points a game and 6.2 rebounds. And Maddie Bush is averaging 6.8 points a game, 5.2 rebounds, and she's got seven three-pointers. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Region 14 Conference Basketball. It is a Saturday afternoon in Athens, Texas. It is Trinity Valley. It is Angelina. And with the call of the game, it is Tim Howard. Thank you, Benny Rogers. One thought that I didn't ask you before we got on the air, did, did you bring a birth certificate for Brianna Baxter? I was thinking maybe scratch it out, give her a different birthday. Like She, <laughs> she, she had, played lights out the other night. Had 16 points and about eight rebounds in that contest on her birthday. On her birthday. Know. So I just, you know, uh, heretofore be it resolved that today be her birthday. Next, She played so great the other night. It was a real catalyst. We should mention the Lady Cardinals are balling for our cure today, the, re the breast cancer awareness contest they play each year. They got the pink ribbons in their hair and yellow uh, pink socks on and, and the cancer survivors are going to be recognized at halftime. And of course, Breast cancer is very close and personal. Me having lost my mom to breast cancer in 2016, so this is a very special day in the lives of folks who have had those battles. To Absolutely. Uh, hats off to survivors and fighters of that insidious disease. It's tip-off time, and it is controlled by Trinity Valley Baxter across to Mwamba. Lady Cardinals need to get off to a good start, Tim. They fell way behind it, and then Lufkin, and then fought from back the wrist to get the game coming down from 26 at halftime. It's the screen up top. Good defender, though. Going up and uh, started to say got a different result from the other night, but it's just been snake bit on that shot over the last couple of quarters or a couple of ball games. There's a step on the baseline by Walker. Yeah, Lady Cardinals come back and get back on defense and do a good job of forcing her out of bounds. But we, you're so right about Lydia. She just hasn't been hitting that shot from point blank range. The Lady Cardinals need to get those to fall because those add up in the start of the game. So up the floor, here comes Kennedy Davis. Looks for a screen from Wamba. Defender works around it. Liddy takes off after Brianna gives her a screen. Sanderlin, crossover in the paint, kick out, and last touched by the Lady Roadrunners. Tim, two different attacks. The Lady Roadrunners are going to shoot from outside at three point range. Lady Cardinals like to attack the goal. Yeah, that's that's uh, one of the differences between these two squads. Trinity Valley will get in the paint with you. But uh, speaking of inbound, that was a difficult shot. The catch and release on the inbound, but uh, still real tight shot not falling from Wamba. Walker spins it quickly. Kinembe and Kinembe going Kinembini going to the free throw line. Yeah, Liddy's going to pick up a foul. There to be a shooting foul for the Lady Roadrunners, and they will go to the free throw line. Lady Roadrunners coming into the game, Tim, was shooting 64.2% from the free throw line. In the first game against the Lady Cardinals, they were 6 of 12 from the free throw line. The Lady Cardinals were uh, 18 of 24. So first one is good. Kinembini with the first point of the afternoon. Second free throw coming momentarily. It's that to fall. So two for two at the strike. Davis will bring it up the floor. Got Quinn step for step with her. Overthrowing, going to have to hustle. Good trail there by Bush. And Maddie Bush did a great job of keeping that from being a turnover. Kick out three on the way. Sanderlin's shot rolls out. That Halfway is. Halfway down. Well, there's been a couple of those already. That was a three point variety. 
Three up top, shot on the way, not there. That is one of the 28 that they'll take a game. Pass off Mwamba, baseline jumper, nets it for a two. They didn't have one of three shooting. Tim and Lady Cardinals, David Angelina, a good look from three-point range last time around. They've got to not rip, allow that in the start of this game. Great job down low for Marie Kinnabini as she catches it, bites her way over the top of Mwamba. Yeah, number, she's averaging 14.8 points a game. Where's number 14 on her jersey? Bush draws the traffic now off to Sanderlin. Too easy. Nicely done. Kiara Sanderlin for two. Sanderlin did not play the first game against the Lady Roadrunners, as did Lamonte Jenkins. Trinity Valley about to send in Edwards and Johnson at the next stoppage of play. Nice job with Brianna Baxter stepping into the passing lane and getting a piece of that one. Yeah, good, good D there. So April Edwards checks in. Uh, April out of Little Rock and KJ, a 5'5 freshman out of Dallas. The first time around against Angelina, Liddy scored 36 points and April Edwards had 23. My goodness. It's 59 points. <laughs> I was going to say. That's nearly the average of some teams we've seen this year. But if you're the Lady Cardinals, you want to limit Angelina's looks from three-point range. Yeah, make deny that. And here's Baxter benefacting of a steal off of Davis's defense. Smart to pull that one back out. Nicely done. That was Davis over to KJ for two. Lady Cardinal basketball right there, causing a defensive turnover and running the floor. Baxter to Davis to KJ. Two-point lead for Trinity Valley at the seven-minute mark. Three-pointer on the way. Pops the net. Nicely done there for McMahon. India McMahon with her first basket. That's another good look to Lady Cardinals gave Angelina. You've got to D up on those kids. They've got good ball movement that's working that around. It's going to be tough to defend, but they've got to get there. Here's a drive baseline shot on the way. Count it for Kennedy Davis. Four different Lady Cardinals have scored now, Tim. That's a good sign for the Lady Cardinals. Yeah, kind of... Uh, Move that load around. Another three on the way. This time the left side missed everything. Oh, boy. Going to get a three-point play out of it. Yeah, missed on the three, but going to have an opportunity on the three after a foul on Kennedy Johnson. KJ's first foul of the afternoon. Coming into the ballgame, number 21, Jade Fry. Fry coming on for Morgan. That's going to send Amari Walker to the line. She's the leading scorer for the Lady Roadrunners and one of the top scorers in the conference with a 19.9 average. Well, Maria is trying to add to a one-point advantage here for Angelina. Liddy's averaging 19 points a game for the Lady Cardinals. Gets it to go. So up to a two-point lead. The token backcourt pressure. KJ. Over the timeline. Trying to say skip pass, just skipped it over the head of the defender. There is a thought about it. Still 10 on the clock. April. Works to KJ for three. Not getting it, but three Cardinals hustling on the long rebound. KJ gets the bucket. Kennedy Johnson. KJ with four points. That is a great start for her. She checked into the ball game just moments ago. Here's a long three. That's off. Good block out there from Bush. Out front, Baxter gonna get a bucket. No. Just a wide open layup. Man, Gosh, oh man. Dude. You can't do that. That's huge. 10 point. 10 10. I mean, it's early and you can overcome it, but it's still, you yeah. didn't, didn't get the points. But those, like you said, they add up. And we're starting to see a real glaring trend on those over the last couple of games. Well, Brianna came back and doubled down on the inlet pass, but she got a little bit too aggressive. It's going to be charged with a foul. That's going to be her first personal foul. Third team foul now against the Lady Cardinals. None against Angelina at the 5 18 mark. Yeah, keep an eye on that with 5 18 to go. Long way to go here. Imani in Jenkins into the contest for the Lady Cardinals. Imani trying to step up with that firepower she had the other night. Little misplay, and boy, she missed underneath. Wild shot, but gets her own rebound. Imani crashing the boards. Back to back, three on the way, and not there. Baxter hauls it in. 
thought wiser of trying to force that pass. That was a good decision by Baxter. Great she decision. Gra gathering herself and wasn't able to get anything on that pass, so pulled it back in. 10-10, inside five to go, first quarter of play. Kick out, thought about three, thought about it, and now they'll work it around. Still eight on the clock. April back over to Bush. Her shot not there. Did a great Follows job the following shot. the shot. Foul going to be on number four. Is that McMahon? <laughs> He's doing a double take. She did a double take like I did earlier. Foul was on number 11. Number 11 in our roster. They caught it on, actually caught it, I believe, on number four, India McMahon. Oh, she, well, so let's, let's take a quick time out here. I'll make sure that it is right. Four, I believe, is what they confirmed. 10-10, breaking the action. More after this on the Cardinal Sports Network. When joints begin to fail, it's more than an inconvenience. The relentless grinding pain slows you down and can even stop you from doing the things you enjoy in life. At UT Health East Texas, our skilled orthopedic and sports medicine experts are using advanced joint technologies to get you back to being you sooner with a less painful recovery. We're doing more than restoring joints. We're restoring lives. Your favorite thing delivered right to your door means that you never have to stop doing your other favorite thing. Nailed it. Order McDelivery in the app. And we're back out of the first time out at the 438 mark. 10-10, the Lady Cardinals and Angelina tied up. The rest were the conference today. We've got Coach Ben in Jacksonville, Panola at Kilgore, and Blaine at Tyler in a huge game today, Tim. That's a big one for sure. Uh, none bigger than right here, though, and we're off to a great start. Ten apiece as the Lady Cards inbound. KJ over to Jenkins. Long three. Amani oh, Jenkins. Amani. Amani for money making it happen there. It's a three-point advantage for Trinity Valley. Six three-pointers in the last two games alone. Well, I'm telling you, she is she is lighting it up here. Cardinal Jim. Long three on the other end. That rattles off. It's and, pulled down. And that was a defended three there. Yeah, it makes it a lot more difficult when you got that defender closing out. Edwards pulled down the rebound, brought it down the floor. KJ on the baseline, back to Edwards. In the paint, one pass. Amani again, not that time. Fight for the loose ball, control that time by Fry. Back down the floor. We might have. Crowd wanted an extra step, not getting the fall, ball to fall. It's yeah, the pitcher said she was bobbling the ball. By KJ. So KJ. Controls it, setting it up over on the right side. Edwards pulls the trigger, count the basket. Another three for April, Edwards. Lady Cardinals giving Angelina a dose of their own medicine. We're saying, hey, that three counts both ways. Let's see if we can uh, take advantage, you're up six. Closing out this first quarter. Angelina is a good offensive set here now. They, they know how the Lady Cardinals can go on a run here at the Cardinal Gym. Byron Coleman knows that all too well. McMahon. Works it across to Quinn. Do it away. Trying to yes, they get did. Great defensive set in the Lady Cardinals. There were five seconds on the shot clock, Tim, at the time of that defense, that turnover. Yeah, that's a big uh, defensive stop there as they were trying to connect with, looked like they were trying to get down to Kinnambini. And she had pretty good position, but great defense underneath as well. Lady Kept Carter's with new personnel on the floor, different set, different lineup on the floor as we, Mwamba, Edwards, Jenkins, Davis and Johnson. Exactly, and they're trying to keep that momentum going here as they uh, have a six-point cushion. Nice entry level, Amani. Amani Jenkins counting it for the uh, quick assist from Edwards. Makes a Kirk, Lady Carter's a completely different team with Amani Jenkins on the floor. I'm telling you, man, they are the. That's a double dribble. Defensive turnover caused by AJ, KJ. Yeah, KJ pounced. She saw her in that moment and got on her so quick it caused the uh, double dribble. Trinity Valley. Up. So the Lady Cardinals will double up this lead. Let's see if they can connect here. Davis. Oh, threw it. That's gonna that's gonna be an easy bucket on the other end. She missed it. How in the world? So April Edwards gonna draw a foul here. 
with 219 to go in the first. That's a crazy turn of the match right there, Tim. Could Looked have, like it was going to be a, a bucket on the other end. Missed a layup, and then here comes Bush. And wound up getting a foul out of the booth. Now it's two team fouls against the uh, Lady Roadrunners. Three against the Lady Cardinals at the 219 mark. Lady Cardinals picked up their third about three minutes ago. Yeah, there's still about 2.15 to go here in this first quarter. Good start here. Trinity Valley trying to double them up here. Up eight. Liddy. Top of the post, inside shot, count the basket. Liddy Mwamba now. 10 point Lady Cardinal lead at the two minute mark. Driving, she had just made up her mind. She's getting to the rim. <laughs> and uh, that's that's a good drive there. It's gonna go against Amani, that'll be her first, team fourth. So Walker trying to add to her three points. You said she comes in one of the leading scorers in the conference. Oh, easily the 19.9 average, yes. So averaging right at 20. Hits I didn't check the national one. scoring she leaders, but last week when Liddy was averaging 19.9, she was number five in the nation. So Yeah, yeah. So here's a chance to uh, put her right there on pace for that 20. Her fifth point here in the first quarter. Two minutes to go. And it is an eight-point ball game. TVCC bringing it up. Here comes a mad mad blitz on on KJ, but Lady Cardinals handled it. You want to finish the quarter strong if you're the Lady Cardinals. Swing it over, KJ. Inside to Liddy. Kick out for three, Amani. For three, Amani Jenkins. Not this time. Back, One and done for the Lady Cardinals. Back down the floor, KJ gets over to stop the dribble. Going to have their second three-point play on a made basket here with a minute 30. And Monty's second foul too, Tim. Yeah, that's that's what one you can ill afford to lose right now. She's man, she's been gangbusters. So they'll bring Sanderlin back on. So well, credit to the Lady Roadrunners, though. They were down 10 after a 10-0 Lady Cardinal run, and down there suddenly down six with a chance to be down five after the free throw on my at plus one. Yeah, this is a uh, great bounce back here for the Lady Roadrunners. They're not going to go quietly away, I will assure you of that. They're not 9-1 for just no reason at all. Yeah, you mentioned that. And they've, of course, won six in a row. Trinity Valley, four straight. So something's got to give. Swinging around. I think Imani probably sits out the rest of the half with two fouls, saving her with three for the second half. There's a three on the way from Davis. Kennedy Davis for three. That's a big one there. They needed to get that lead back up to eight, and they do. Lady Carlson now with three three-pointers in the contest. They are squarely or fiercely playing this Angelina team here in the opening quarter. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I don't know if she meant to call that or not, but it kissed it off the glass. I don't know. Uh, I'm with you. I'm thinking Kenabini probably didn't draw it up that way in her mind, but same result on the scoreboard. Big possession for the Lady Cardinals to finish the quarter strong. Yeah, Nita is here. 11 seconds difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Skip pass over to KJ. KJ left wing for three. Not there. The rebound, though. They can get the final shot. Final shot of the quarter. Pull this back out and play for the final shot. Oh, ball on the floor, picked up by Mwamba. Liddy Mwamba! Oh. As the buzzer goes off. Talking just, about not drawing like, it up. Just like Precious way. drew it up. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of one, it's an eight point advantage. Trinity Valley over Angelina. You're seeing it here on the Cardinal Sports Network. Stick around, second quarter after this on the Cardinal Sports Network. Welcome to Trinity Valley Community College, home of the mighty Cardinals, offering hands-on education with an average teacher to student ratio of one to 20 at a third of the price of regional institutions. We teach, we strive, we succeed. TVCC, it makes sense. Apply today at tvcc.edu. Ah, crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich can make you feel a lot of things. The spicy one can make you feel, what's the word? Tingly? Yeah, tingly. McDonald's spicy, crispy chicken sandwich. 
Order ahead on the app. Great start for Trinity Valley here in the first. It's 25-17 as we get set for the second quarter. Benny is about to blow our minds. It's 25-17, Lady Cardinals. Okay. At halftime in Lufkin, Lady Cardinals down 50-24. to 24. Wow. Wow. That number just really sinks in. <laughs> Think about second. that. Think yeah. about that. That is uh, quite a different start than what they had uh, a couple of, well, about three weeks ago now. And so far, the Lady Cardinals have done a good job against the three-pointers, only giving up one three-pointer in this contest. Good night. One more time on that number. It's 25-17. Lady right. Cardinals are down 50-24 to 24 at halftime wow. in the first meeting. Wow, 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 wow. So well on their way. Great insight there, Benny. Here we are back to action. Angelina getting it down low in the paint. Kick out for a wide open three, and it won't go, but they get another offensive rebound. Trying to draw the foul, but not falling for that. <laughs> Got the scoop. <laughs> and the rebound coming to Edwards. Or Edwards getting the rebound. Nothing comes to you in this league. That's all learned, isn't it? Absolutely. There's a drive, shot, and bucket. Count April Edwards in with two. That April with five now. Great start for her. You mentioned she had a lights out performance uh, the last time these two met. Six Lady Cardinals have scored thus far. That's great. Ball distribution, getting everybody into the flow of things here. Ten-point game. Knocked away Baxter. Going to pick up a foul. Oh, That'll be her second. Oh, my goodness. you got to give a kid a benefit of the doubt on that, don't you? April's going to have her second, so she'll be going to the bench probably for the remainder as well. Most, would... most likely, Kiara Center is going to check in, which is a, not a bad sub to have in your place, averaging 14 points a game. So Sanderlin into... The back on the floor, down low. Wamba has to give it a smart. Give it, give that up at that point. Don't give him another three-point play. Absolutely, and Liddy would have picked up her second foul had she picked up the foul. Yeah, good footwork down low that time from uh, Kenambini. Thought about three. Now Kiara in trouble, kicks it back out. Davis to Liddy Wamba for three. Not there. Sanderlin with the offensive board. Dribbles up. Finds KJ. Not there. Tap back. Picked up by Mwamba. Oh, Show. nice job of tipping the ball taps, by Libby Mwamba. Taps it over to Davis. Yeah, you're right. Mwamba knew she couldn't get it herself, but saw the open Cardinal and tapped it over. Ten on the shot clock. Mwamba in the paint. Goes strong. Shoots. Not getting it to fall. Inside eight minutes to go. Eight point game for the Lady Cardinals. Opening half here of a double hitter. We'll have the men coming up later. Block underneath. Partially blocked. The rebound is picked up by Davis. Off to Edwards. Three on the way from Liddy Mwamba. Not there. Offensive rebound by Sanderlin. Goes with the left scoop. Oh, and my scores. goodness. Kiara Sanderlin just takes it away, Tim. Ken uh, how about it, man? Kiara getting it done, and now a timeout coming here. Trinity Valley up 10 with 7.32 to go. Timeout on the floor. Well, they're not going to take a timeout. Not sure what happened there. <laughs> Had a hurt player, I think. Somebody got shook up down there. I'm looking. I guess they just... Came on the floor, came out off the floor rather. If you're Byron Coleman, you don't like what you saw on that exchange that time though, because Lady Cardinal, uh, Lady Roadrunners just led a care center without muscling. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, Trinity Valley just showing much too much. So it's all sorted out now, and we're back to action. 10 point ball game, TVCC. If you're a precious obby, you like where you're standing right now, obviously, because you don't have Imani Jenkins or Brianna Baxter currently at your disposal with two fouls, most likely. Yeah, you, you got to really kind of guard that. Here's a long three. Very well contested. Wow, tie up in Lady side Cardinal the basketball. That's the key, Tim. They're going to get their three-point shots. Make them be contested. They'll contest those shots. Yeah, that was a great closeout. I want to want to say it was uh, Davis. It might have been Bush. That's how my mind is working to, today. But getting out and just 
contesting the shot. Make them work. There's a drive. Edwards, bucket, and what an opportunity. I guarantee you, April Edwards saw the mismatch, saw she had the, had the inside drive going, and she took that. Great job, of April Edwards. Good court awareness going strong to the basket. So timeout on the floor. Trinity Valley trying to make it a 13-point game when we come back after this on the Cardinal Sports Network. No one ever said you need to be sick to get better. That's why at Baylor Scott & White, we're innovating how people get well and stay that way. Where prevention Last might one. just be the prescription. Way to work. Teaching is on the treatment plan. And everyone is always on the same team. Yours. Baylor Scott & White Health, changing healthcare for the better. Well, it's early in this one. There are 7.04 left here in the second quarter, but it's got a good look for the Lady Cardinals up 31 to 19. And Tim and I were talking while you were away. This Lady Cardinal team is starting to take on a look of a team that's playing with a lot of confidence, that likes its lineup, that's, that is just doing the little things well. And we saw the fight and determination from the Lady Cardinals the entire time during the, when they had the seven players in the lineup. And now they've got the talent to match other people and it's showing off. Oh, exactly. And, and you, you talked about the, 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 the confidence and just saw April Edwards with a little oh, flex after that shot, went up strong to the basket. Now she's got a chance to add to it. And that makes a huge difference. What I loved about that play was, Tim, she read the mismatch and saw where she had the inside gap to the goal, and she took it, made a strong move, and then drew the foul. Yeah, made made the most of it. Got the bucket and the three-point play as we just saw her connect at the free throw line. So Trinity Valley looking sharp here at home this afternoon as Angelina comes in leading Region 14 with a 9-1 record. Trinity Valley trying to have something to say about that this afternoon. Connors is defending awfully well right now, Tim. The drive, kick out for three, but going to be contested and not going to get a fall there. As Edwards weaves her way through traffic, drops it off. Mamba! Oh, too, too easy! Too easy! Lydia Mamba gets the bucket, but April Edwards going coast to coast and dishing at the bucket. Boy, that was too easy. That's got to get Coach Byron Coleman just a little frustrated with his team. They've got to defend better than that. Thought about a three, but they're starting to realize, man, it isn't falling. So stepping inside the perimeter, missing that, missing everything. Here comes Davis up the floor. It's a 15-point Cardinal lead, trying to grow it even more. Sanderlin, no wide defender. open, wide open. Put it down, Kiara Sanderlin for two. Boy, this is making this look too easy right now. It's a long way to go, but it's looking awfully good right now. 17-point advantage. Trinity Valley all over Angelina with big pressure. Here's a uh, switch on the defense. They got her trapped in the corner. Nicely done by Sanderlin. But oh, couldn't... my goodness. It's a perfect defense. They trapped in the corner and got her to throw the ball away, and just Lady Carter's lost it out of bounds. Sanderlin almost got there, but uh, could not quite get there. You get you get the feeling these Angelina players say, this is not the same team we played down at our place. And it's no, not. it's not. It's <laughs> not. You got two more uh, players on, on Trinity Valley now. And, you know, hats off to that squad down there who were down 25 and came back and almost. KJ, big smile on her face going, wait, I just picked that up. I give up. That's a uh, foul that'll be her. Is that her second? That's her second with five, five, five two, seven left. So Preston's going to have to make a decision probably at some point in this quarter who she may want to sacrifice getting a third foul. Yeah, and they're, they're calling quite a few of those. There's a drive baseline going strong as Walker doesn't get the roll. A couple of Lady Cards fight for it, Wamba and um, Edwards. Yeah, April had the rebound and Liddy knocked it out of her hands. The 20 seconds on the shot clock for the uh, Lady Runners. Down 36-19 with 5-16 left in the first half. TVCC giving them a little bit of their own medicine. Here's a foul offensively. Yeah, it took one in there. It looked like they're uh, not sure if we got to look at that, but Kenan Beanie came strong with the elbow. Yes, she did. 
And so That's, Kennedy is still, that, she's like, I got all of my teeth. Okay, so I'm, I'm still, <laughs> but she was definitely holding that jaw a little bit. <laughs> Paid the price for that one. Oh, nice. Bad decision. Nice defense there to jump the route. Going strong, getting the bucket. Yeah, it's just not a good decision by the Lady Cardinals that time with the ball. Jade Price getting the steal and then. Uh, Telegraph the pass. Gets the bucket on the other end. So TVCC trying to do to Angelina what uh, Angelina did to Trinity Valley. Think about this, it's a 15-point lead, but in, on the road a few weeks ago, it was a 25-point lead for Angelina before Trinity Valley came roaring all the way back to pull within two at one point, lose yeah, by four. Yeah, Lady, Lady Cardinals gave everything they had in that game to try to pull it out, but now we got a timeout by Precious. Yeah, she wanted to talk it over briefly here with... Uh, I'm not, not sure if that is a timeout taken by Trinity Valley. 15-point advantage, 4.34 to go here in the first half. We'll step away. More after this on the Cardinal Sports Network. Back at Leon Spitzer Court at Historic Cardinal Gym, 434 left in the first half. Lady Cardinals up 36-21. I'm Benny Rogers along with Tim Howard. Tim, it's kind of gut check time for Angelina, and they're really starting to, they've started to creep back into this game a little bit, having been down 19 points. Yeah, I think uh, Coach Byron Coleman is checking his players a little bit here and saying you better get something going here in a hurry because you're, you're on the road against a very powerful team. And we've talked about the fact Trinity Valley is a different team than they were three weeks ago. Long three, launching, and not getting that one. That Long was, three, to say the least. That was behind, well, that was from Galveston, literally <laughs> on the Trinity Valley logo. There's <laughs> a drive. Wamba, reverse, gets it to fall. Nicely line. done. <laughs> Nicely she's, done. she's making those shots and had trouble with the gimmies. <laughs> it's, uh, but she's had three of those to fall now. Uh, some th pretty difficult shots in the last little bit. So, I mean, she's starting to get it going here. Got 10 points in the first half. Three from Walker. Nicely done. Two three-pointers now for Angelina. And Maria Walker. Nice pass on the baseline. Liddy up and under. Going to get her for a step. Yeah, took them that time. Yeah, a little, little uh, slip of the pivot foot there. Chance for Angelina to give it in 12 or even 11 for that matter. I was going to say, mathematically I think we should go ahead and say <laughs> <laughs> although those threes have been hard to come by today. If you're Byron Cohen, if you can be within single digits at halftime, you'd feel pretty good about the way the first half ended, I would think. Good drive. Left it short. Try to go draw contact. Does not get it. Here's Edwards inside. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's an easy one for Walker. She'll catch it, go up with a layup, and it's a 12-point game. Lady Cardinals are a little out of sorts offensively, Tim. Just just a bit. It's just not been fluid as it's been being. Yeah. Uh, final three minutes. There's a Sanderlin. Oh, boy. Could not get that one to go. Now a chance to get within 10 or even do within the single digits. All the way, that's that coast-to-coast -coast style there. That did not go as uh, Quinn was denied at the basket. Going strong to the hoop. Blocked inside by Kenambini. Now, Kenambini got all of that when she's 6'1 sophomore out of Cameroon. So coming into the ball game, it's going to be Imani Jenkins. I wonder which trigger to Precious will pull first if she's going with Imani. She's had time to think about, no, hey, I got two. I got to play smart here. 237 left in the first half. She can play smart defense and she is a shooter, so it probably makes sense to be her to get the call. Wamba, they're nipping at the hills there and yeah, get a takeaway. Yeah, they're trying to go a triple team there. That's just doing, trying to do too much right there. Baxter about to check in. 
Going strong, missing. Jenkins pulls it down, running the floor. Looking. Angelina's had, oh my goodness, Imani. She got. Angelina's going to get a third opportunity now, Tim, to get within 10 points, and they didn't take advantage of the first two. We're approaching the two minute mark of the first half. Yeah, we normally talking about finishing the final three minutes, and uh, since that 46 seconds ago, neither team has really done much in this final three. We're kind of holding steady here. 12-point game. Lady Cardinals have outscored Angelina 13 to 7 in this quarter. 13 to 9 in this quarter, rather. Working around the perimeter. Got to watch Walker. She will light it up. Kinabini inside. Oh, they missed her down low. Jade wanted the ball in the paint. Passing it off. Now kick out for three. Not even close. Wow. I don't know if she lost that on the way up. One strong and drawing the foul. It's going to be Davis going to the stripe with 144 left. Now Kennedy was made a strong move to the goal. You may maybe have thought maybe she was time to set the offense up if she didn't have an advantage. And you hate to see a player down from the Lady Cardinals. We've seen too much of that this season. I was going to say, let's let's get her up if we can. At all I think she just took a hard just, ball. Yeah. It, and these guys are going 90 miles an hour. So, uh, Glad to see her able to get back up. We see it coming right at you into the screen here. KJ getting ready to check back into the contest. Minute 44 to go. Chance to make it a 14 point ball game here. Step into the free throw line is Kennedy Davis. Freshman from Brandon hitting 81%. It's out with the fall. She's got six points now. Yeah, that's a great average, 80.8 on the, on the season from the free throw line. Let's see if she can uh, knock down the second one here, gets that one up, and gets the shooter's roll up and over and falls through. Great job from Kennedy Davis. She's got seven here in the first half. She does, and KJ's back on the floor now. So your 14-point game. Love to see Trinity Valley finish this off with another little surge. We've seen Angelina come down with three straight possessions and not be able to come up with anything. That's going to could be hey, get big dividends for the Lady Cardinals. Good closeout. Good defense there. Denying. Going to get an extra step. KJ forced to turn over. Brianna Baxter is also back out on the floor for the Lady Cardinals. So Precious is finishing with a, with a strong lineup. Janae Quinn not happy on the call. And Coach Coleman uh, letting her know, <laughs> hey, you, you took a slide step. Byron is not shy. Tell us how you really feel, Coach. Oh, that's going to be a running through the screen there. It's either that or a great flop, <laughs> but it was definitely a run through. Brianna already scheduling the ice bath after that one. Goodness, that was a that was a tough tough foul. Going to be sore. That's 14 fouls now against the Lady Roadrunners. 14 Six point game. Now. How about a three here? Just a clean look. Oh, nice pass. Baxter inside. Oh. Gonna be a charge. That'll cost him a possession there. It's gonna be against KJ. That's her third foul. Yeah. Well, you knew that somebody was gonna get a whistle for a third one probably because he had three on the floor with two. Yeah. Yep. Any tweet of the whistle is not gonna be good for the Lady Cardinals. <laughs> not right now. You're trying to bid your way out of this last you're minute. Brianna 12. here, you wanna be very careful not to pick up that third. Yeah, and Janae is, uh, excuse me, Jade is a real physical player, so interesting to see how they let it fly. Boy, that looked like it was going to fall. But it was contested. Yeah, good D. Great job there from Bush. Just two three-pointers for Angelina in the first half. That's a win for the Lady Cardinals right Absolutely. there. Absolutely. They come in hitting eight a game, 7.9. And, and had six in the first quarter down at Lufkin. Lady Cardinals being very deliberate here. They can't kill the clock, but they're going to limit the number of shots that Angelina can potentially get in the rest of the remainder of the first pass. Screen up top, kick out for three. Baxter swinging, left-handed shot. Oh, oh my good. goodness! Oh my goodness! <laughs> that had all the trick shot you can imagine: spinning, delivering, getting it to roll around the cylinder and fall through. Angelina going to play for a final shot. Hopefully a three if you're an Angelina fan or Angelina later road runner. Get to get down to 13. We said they like to leave within single digits. That's not going to happen. Hopefully a uh, stop here with a 16-point lead. Here's a three on the way. Count the basket. Ken and Benny's on it. I want to end one on that. 
It's going to be a 42-29 lead for Trinity Valley at the break. TVCC up over the Region 14 leader currently. Benny, before we go to break, uh, leading scorer for the Lady Cardinals, is it Mamba with 10? Lady Mamba's got 10, Kennedy Davis has got 9, and April Edwards has 8. So that's uh, your leaders for Trinity Valley right now. We'll step away, come back with more after this. It is the Cardinals Sports Network. Prosperity Bank offers free checking. Let's take a look. No monthly maintenance fee? Check. No individual check fees? Check. Free debit card? Check. Unlimited withdrawals? Check. Free online banking? Check. Easy access and friendly service? Check. Close to home? Check. Simply free checking from Prosperity Bank is simply free. I'm taking these checks to the bank. Prosperity is the big bank with your community's bank inside. Prosperity Bank, where you find real bankers, not just a bank. I was a runner. I was up to running three miles a day every morning. When I was diagnosed with lung cancer, I was shocked because I'm not a smoker. Baylor, Scott and White, the facility, the staff, everyone has been so amazing. I love, love the fact that I can breathe. When I first heard that I had cancer, I was referred to Baylor Scott and White immediately. It was really important for me to be able to get my chemotherapy and everything here because I wanted to be close to my friends, my family. They were so confident and made me feel at ease and supported me. I felt like I was their only patient and I knew they had several people that they were dealing with, but I was the most important person. I had like a week of headaches. Throughout that week, I went to my local hospital. They referred me to Baylor Scott and White. They gave me an MRI. The tumor that was inside of my head was cancer. Baylor Scott & White has given me this new technology that helps decrease the growth rate of my cancer cells. The doctor I have right now, he's just amazing. It's a great feeling to know the guy who's taking care of me actually really cares about me. Baylor Scott & White Health, changing cancer care for life. Your favorite thing delivered right to your door means that you never have to stop doing your other favorite thing. Nailed it. Order McDelivery in the app. From a work perspective, what am I most thankful for? I'm thankful for working with a great team. I'm thankful for working for a company that's faith-based. And I'm truly thankful to be able to take time to pray with my patients if they need it. Just having a good team to work with and a great, all, all my supplies are there. I got equipment if I need it and it helps at a phone call away if I need that as well. I've never had a time where I didn't feel like that. I couldn't get what I needed to do my job. We work together as a team here at Baylor and I really appreciate that. I'm thankful that I have the ability to work. The physical ability, the mental ability. I think every day that I walk into the pharmacy, everybody greets me as soon as I walk in the door. And it's a small gesture, but it goes a long way and it starts your day off right. I do feel like I'm fulfilling my calling, even if it's, you know, the last job that I have. I'm thankful for God leading me here to work. I feel like I am growing into a much better nurse and I've been a nurse for a long time. When I go home at the end of each shift, whether I had a bad day or a good day, I'm ready to come back to work the next morning. And I know a lot of nurses, unfortunately, don't get to feel that way about their job, but this is how we feel here. And it's not just me, it's everybody around me. My team, they welcome me and respect me, my differences, my culture, and I don't feel isolated when I'm with them. They welcome my ideas, you know, they're always there for me. We see people, a lot of brokenness, you know, physical, emotional, come through rehab, um, but just walk, just walking beside them in this and being able to help them get better, to see the outcomes of it is just, it's really rewarding. I mean, I'm so grateful for Baylor, really. I love it here. Baylor's a very good place to work for. It's different. I've worked at other larger hospitals and I would never go anywhere else. I'm thankful for what I do. I'm thankful for the patients that we take care of. Uh, I'm thankful for my calling, my ministry, you know, is helping those who can't help themselves, being there for them. So I'm, I'm thankful for all that I can do for someone else who can't do for themselves. Prosperity Bank offers free checking. 
Let's take a look. No monthly maintenance fee? Check. No individual check fees? Check. Free debit card? Check. Unlimited withdrawals? Check. Free online banking? Check. Easy access and friendly service? Check. Close to home? Check. Simply free checking from Prosperity Bank is simply free. I'm taking these checks to the bank. Prosperity is the big bank with your community's bank inside. Prosperity Bank, where you find real bankers, not just a bank. Sometimes managing your health and keeping track of all the details can feel a little overwhelming. But UT Health East Texas Virtual Care makes it easy to stay connected with your health care. You can message your doctor, see test results, pay your bills on time, and even request on-demand video visits to be seen right away from the comfort of your own home. All through your smartphone, tablet, or computer from virtually anywhere. Less stress, more living. Your team leaves everything on the field. They play with heart and with their mind. But being smart starts long before the kickoff. With the latest technology, sports medicine advancements, expert physicians, we can keep your team healthy and protect joints and growing bones for this big moment and their future on any field. Physician-owned Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine & Joint Hospital. Welcome to Trinity Valley Community College, home of the mighty Cardinals, offering hands-on education with an average teacher to student ratio of one to 20 at a third of the price of regional institutions. We teach, we strive, we succeed. TVCC, it makes sense. Apply today at tvcc.edu. When joints begin to fail, it's more than an inconvenience. The relentless grinding pain slows you down and can even stop you from doing the things you enjoy in life. At UT Health East Texas, our skilled orthopedic and sports medicine experts are using advanced joint technologies to get you back to being you sooner with a less painful recovery. We're doing more than restoring joints. We're restoring lives. And there you have it, McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwich from the makers of the world's most stolen fries. The juicy chicken sandwich from the place that offers extra napkins for a reason. The tender chicken sandwich from the creators of a sandwich phenomenon. So you won't just be biting into a chicken sandwich, you'll be biting into McDonald's new crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich. Ba -da -ba -ba. Equality, affordable education is not out of reach. In fact, it's closer and more convenient than you might think. Trinity Valley Community College, with locations in Athens, Palestine, Terrell, and Kaufman, offers day and evening courses, online courses, and provides dual credit classes for high school students. TVCC is also home to several national championship sports programs. Welcome back to Leon Fisher Court, a historic Cardinal gym. We are at halftime of the Lady Cardinals in this showdown with Angelina, up 42 to 29. The Lady Cardinals, of course, ranked 12th in the National 17 and 5 overall, and 73 in conference. But Angelina had to come in and won six straight and is 9 and 1 in conference play with a 17 7 season record. Lady Cardinals dominated the first half, did a good job of limiting Angelina's prowess at the three point strike, get, holding him to three. The Lady Cardinals with three. I was going to mention, Tim, we haven't talked about this today. We will have the men's game coming up after this one. There'll be the Cardinals taking on uh, uh, Tyler in a, in a big game. Tyler's lost five in a row coming in. The, lady, the Car Cardinals, of course, are very hot, having won four straight. So it's, that's a big game for the we'll have for you on the men's side at 4 p.m. 
taking a look at our next Cardinal Sports Network's webcast. We'll have a doubleheader for you next Saturday when the Lady Cardinals take on Panola at 2, and the Cardinals take on Kilgore in what's becoming a huge men's game at 4 p.m. Yeah. Wednesday, the Cardinals go to Navarro to of course, Canada play Navarro, and the Lady Cardinals go to Beeville to play Coastal Bend. That will be Wednesday night. Both teams will be on the road. Yeah, it should be Your a thoughts great one. the first half? Um, first half, uh, excellent. I mean, you, you couldn't have drawn it up any better if you're uh, Coach Precious Ivy. And one thing that uh, kind of jumped out at me, I looked up and I was like, well, Amani only has five. She checked in the ballgame and got those five within probably a minute and then got in foul trouble that's two quick two quick fouls very early on yeah so that's the one one thing that's they've got to kind of be aware of in the foul issues yeah you got kennedy kennedy johnson with three, three. brianna baxter with two and monty jenkins with two you don't want a quick whistle on one, any of those three I don't, I don't think kennedy will be in the game to start the second half would be my guess but you don't want a quick whistle on any of those three kids in the third quarter i i would agree with that and i, I mean it, i i would love to hear what Trinity Valley's, uh, you know, what Coach Ivy came up to talk to about to improve. It was nearly flawless that well, first Well, it really half. was. I, I only, and I thought that Angelina got two open looks at threes and everything else was contested pretty much. It, exactly. And they, uh, you know, it, it kind of got in Angelina's head a little bit. I mean, they, they realized, hey, we're not getting clean looks, so we better knock these down. And they, they were not able to capitalize on the three-pointer like they have most of the year. I will say this, Angelina stayed in the halftime. They're just now coming out with 104 left on the clock. So they just stayed in halftime the entire time. So that was, that's interesting to see if there's any strategic plan changes that Byron Coleman has made. But the main thing is the, the Lady Cardinal team that Angelina faced in Lufkin last month, this is not the same Lady Cardinal team. No, it's not. And I, I'm expecting Jenkins to just have a uh, smash second Half. I had this observation probably at halftime, Tim. It's with 42 to 29. I would think the Lady Cardinals would be very content with holding Angelina in the 60s and feeling pretty good about things. They they would. They, this is a team that is coming in uh, averaging, you know, 60 or 73 a game. 73.5, so 74 a game. And scored 82 against the Lady Cardinals the first time around. Exactly. So if you eliminate that from them, that's going to be big. Also, uh, April Edwards eight points in this first half and she had uh, 24 the last time these two 23 met. the first 23 time the last time they met so angelina's ball to start the second half and tim howard to call it thank you so much benny rogers we are set uh for the lady cardinals it'll be that starting five which is davis baxter wamba bush and sanderlin to start for Trinity Valley. And suddenly you want something really positive to happen for you to start this second half. Long three on the way, not there. That's good defense there to track that one down. Davis gets the rebound, then brings it up the floor. Thought about a three, Sanderlin puts a head down. In and out, they're gonna get her for her steps. Yeah, they don't give you three. <laughs> Kiara is pleading her case, saying that that pivot, I kept my pivot. Well, the problem was the pivot was two different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So as Kiara gets back on the defensive side of the ball, see how they attack. Every possession counts. One and done there. It looked like they had a clean look, at, but Lady Cards closed out, made a sandwich after the entry level. Wamba. Thought about three. Baxter up top, dry, breaking traffic. Sanderlin. Over to Bush, or excuse me, Davis. Not there, thought Baxter was gonna get that, but it was tapped across. Good play there from Jade Fry. Couldn't get it herself, but knocked it to a teammate. Good hustle. This is not very successful for the Lady Cardinals. That's not a good sign. Bush working defensively there, almost got the steal. They do have a cushion, however. Goes strong with the left oh hand. Oh my the whistle. goodness, what a ticky tack. There's a foul coming here. It's gonna oh, be on there's Baxter. That, there's that quick foul I was talking about, that quick whistle. Yeah, it's uh, less than a minute and a half into the game. It's gonna be her third. So third foul of the ball game. Third foul with less than a minute and a half gone by. She'll have she to just, sit. Just couldn't afford that. Just could not afford it. 
And like you said, it wasn't really a crushing foul, just a little contact. Jade missing on the first free throw. She's shooting 65.1% coming into the game. So Fry trying to pull within 12 with a free throw here. As a coach, you always like those numbers to be 70% or better. You'd like them to be 80% or better, but 70% you can accept. Missed them both. Goodness. Not a start. Good start for either team to start the second half, but the Lady Cardinals can afford it more than Angelina can. Exactly. Coach Byron Coleman got to be just frustrated with that. I get it. Sometimes the threes aren't going to fall, but we got to have those free throws falling. Driving. Sanderlin regathers. Can't get it to go. Wamba had a chance. She couldn't get it to go. Three on the way. Why not? <laughs> How about it? April Edwards for three. April's second three-pointer of the contest, the fourth for the Lady Cardinals. April with 11 points now. Great shot there. And step back, let that one fly. Down low, shot up, and too easy there. Yeah, she's a, she's a factor down low. Kenan Beanie, a 6'1 sophomore. Lady Cardinals got to double down on her. Wamba. Set that screen, now takes the ball. Bush with Walker all over her. Edwards going strong, shooting, <laughs> scoring. April Edwards is off to a great start. Five points down the second half, 13 in the game. Five points in the first three minutes here in the second half. 16-point Lady Cardinal lead. Well, you get the feeling that Trinity Valley could come out strong here this third. They could really put the pressure on them the rest of the way. Missing a three there. So here comes Davis with the rebound. Up the floor, Sanderlin going left side. Up and under, shot not there, fight for the loose ball, picked up by Bush. Bush to Mwamba. Oh, terrible decision. And you get a foul out of it on top of it. Yeah, a little frustration foul there coming on Kiara Sanderlin after, after the uh, turnover. Just can't throw the ball through, a, through the defense like that. Imani checking into the ball game. She's got two fouls, and Baxter on the floor uh, just came out. She's got three fouls. Those opportunities are great for the Lady Cardinals, Tim. They had a 16-point lead to build on. She can't afford to let opportunities go to a waste. See another foul. It's another. This is. It'll be her second. That's a foul on Kennedy Davis. I will give Angelina some credit here. They are attacking the goal, and they're really causing the price for the Lady Cardinals a high price to pay almost. Yeah, you're, that's uh, definitely a strategy they talked about. You mentioned they, they stayed in that locker room quite a long time at the half. Came out with about 65 seconds left. You really, oh, my goodness, and missed the free throws. She's hitting 67.7%. Want to know how uh, Emmaria feels about that just look at the replay after it rolled out she just snatched the air like really come on walker one of the best players in the conference gets that one to fly averaging 20 points a game one of the best players in the nation jenkins on the floor now for the lady cardinals see if imani can get things going like she did that instant spark last start of the first half when she came in oh they had her underneath Trying to connect there with Madison Bush. Maddie taps the chest. It's, it's not been a great offensive start for the Lady Cardinals, not, to be honest with you. Yeah, they, they've uh, they've got some improvement to Other go with. April Edwards, five points. That's it. See if they can't get the uh, defense to keep working here. Jenkins very physical down low as Ferguson's in the ball game here for the Lady Roadrunners. Careful, they are calling that light stuff today. Walker shoots, can't get it to go. Jenkins pulls it down. Well, Mari Walker's got some great moves. She just didn't finish it, but you see now she's considered one of the best players, if not the best player yeah. in the league. Well, she's she's fantastic, but they've held her. You want to say they've held her in check, but she's got 14. So, I mean, she, <laughs> a quiet 14. It is a quiet 14. It has been working at the... Ball still five on the shot clock. Sandler, baseline. Not aware, and that's going to be a backboard violation. 
Lady Carters are just getting themselves in a bind offensive. They're spending way too much time on the shot clock and then trying to force something up. This is just not a good feel right now for the Lady Cardinals. Liddy Mamba checking back in. Yeah, you're right, Benny. They haven't really gotten able to get things rolling. And that's uh, the end of the first half, they were about as smooth as you could be. And every time you do that, you give Angelina an opportunity to cut into that lead. And eventually those things, those shots are going to start falling for Angelina. Yeah, it's it's a 15-point game, but this team is, is due to hit threes. I mean, they have just been very quiet from behind the arc. So you can never let a team like that stay alive. Wamba with the interception going down the floor. Goes up, shoots, and scores. That's Lady Cardinal basketball. Defense creating offense. Great play from Liddy Wamba taking the, the steal and then hitting the shot. Jenkins comes off of the ball. It's picked up by Davis. Six tie up. Lady Cardinals. And this That's is a chance, Tim. This is a 17-point game. Uh, 17-point game with a chance now to get it to 20 evenly. Exactly. They got the possession when we come back. It is inside five minutes to go here in the third. You're seeing it here on the Cardinal Sports Network. Would you look at that? It's beautiful. Wow. That's our boy. Get two breakfast sandwiches like a sausage McMuffin with egg or a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit for just $5. Welcome to Trinity Valley Community College home of the mighty Cardinals, offering hands-on education with an average teacher to student ratio of one to 20 at a third of the price of regional institutions. We teach, we strive, we succeed. TVCC, it makes sense. Apply today at tvcc.edu. Denny Rogers and Tim Howard with you here on the Cardinal Sports Network Region 14 Conference Women's Basketball. The Lady Cardinals up 49 to 32 with 4:53 left in the third quarter. Tim, it really seems like this is a kind of a tipping point here, possibly in this game. If the Lady Cardinals can just push this lead, maybe four or five more points further, it's really going to be a big hill for Angelina to climb. Yeah, Coach Coleman, I'm sure is is reminding his team, hey, we've got a big hole to to dig out of here. We've got to make better decisions, start hitting some shots. Trinity Valley, on the other hand, as you said, just keep adding to it, trying to expand the lead. It's 17 with the basketball. Here's the drive working around the left side, trying to set up Jenkins, but they are all over her. They no doubt are draping Amana Jenkins. Inside, now kick out. Five on the shot clock. Baseline shooting, score the basket for Matty Bush. Maddie's first points of the contest, and they are big. Yeah, that gets it out to a 19-point contest here. 4.15 left in the third. Wide open three. That is too easy there as Alicia Rivera, Rivera Scott knocks it down. That changes the whole complexion of the game from 19 to 16. That just, just that psychologically for the Lady Roadrunners. Yeah, you're about to get into over the 20 mark. That pulls you back right around a couple of threes and you're at 10, 10. You know, it, it's a uh, big emotional game as well. 10 on the shot clock. Amani baseline, lost it. Wamba still three on the clock and here comes Scott. Rivera Scott. Finding, giving away, and a foul coming. Who's getting the foul here? It's going to be on April Edwards. Her first of the afternoon. So if it's going to be a foul on someone on the floor, you're glad it was Edwards, her first. Yeah, but you don't like it being a shooting foul with the, the getting an opportunity to stop the clock in a 60-point lead. Because, Tim, we were looking at a 19-point game. Now it's a 16-point game, and it's just suddenly it could be a 14-point game in no time at all. Yeah, and uh, Janae Quinn... The sophomore from Miami trying to do the honors here. Angelina has such great firepower that they can make 16 points up in a matter of minutes. Yeah, that's the thing about this. And boy, they have hurt, hurt themselves with the free throws. Yeah, they today. missed three this quarter. That's not the way to come back. Yeah, coming in this afternoon, they uh, have only been hitting 64% at the free throw line. She's 70% herself, 69.2, so goes one of two on that trip. 15-point game. Trinity Valley needs 
to get a good look at the basket here. Well, they do, Tim, but they need to get it in off the shots off a little bit quicker, possibly, because they've been shaking that shot clock down to about five seconds. Wamba was calling for it down low. It's too early in the game to really be doing that. Eight. Now Edwards over to Amani. Not there. Liddy kept it alive, but great effort from Kennedy Davis, but just not able to to get there. Uh, another possession, the Lady Cardinals took the shot clock down to about six seconds. Yeah. They're, I mean, if it's late in the game and you've got a 15-point lead, you can nurse the clock and milk the clock. Today. You need to take that first good look you get. Now, to Angelina's credit, Angelina's playing pretty solid defense here in this third quarter. Yeah, they've definitely tightened the screws defensively. Trinity Valley trying to uh, do the same here on this possession. 240. Like you said, if the uh, Coach Coleman would want to get it down to 10. Jenkins with a block in the paint. A two-handed block as Tim Howard like to call him. <laughs> that's, that's worth one for each hand. Put it in the book. Three on the way. Not there. Tapped around. Jenkins got clobbered in the back of the head. <laughs> that editorial <laughs> comments brought you up to that. <laughs> I mean, her, her head buckled after that. <laughs> so Imani kept it alive. Out of bounds off of the Lady Roadrunners. 20 seconds on the shot clock. 2.18 left in the, in the third quarter. If you're the Lady Cardinals, you want to keep that double-digit lead going into that fourth quarter for sure. Driving now out to Jenkins. Jenkins steps up, shoots, not there. Way early in that shot clock that time. There was... Oh, man. Driving Walker. Pulls up, shot off the glass is good. Yeah, nice shot. Nice one-handed shot. I'm Maria Walker, as uh, you, you think about that, she's, she's smart, says, hey, I'm, I'm going to take what I can get. We don't have to ha always hit the three. It's a 13-point game, and the Lady Cardinals are not really fluid on offense right now. Trinity Valley with uh, 21 on the shot clock. Having to work awfully hard on offense not to get anything for it. Yeah, Angelina is uh, coming strong with the defense here. KJ is back on the floor. See if they can get things rolling. KJ. Defender draped all over her in the corner. Inside, nice dish. April Edwards with the assist. Liddy Mwamba with the basket. Yeah, April did a great job of reading the defender and picks dishing it off to Liddy. Let's do more of that, getting to the hoop. Getting Byron's reminding his kids that they didn't replay that very well. <laughs> that's, that's a... Looking around the... Uh, perimeter here. Still 10 on the clock. Walker trying to set it up. Five on the clock. Good deep Jenkins. Oh, no her out with three seconds There's on no the clock. no need for that hand chair. Oh, goodness. Just slide your feet and you're in good shape there. Cut her off. Bonnie picks up her third foul. Yeah, that's just that's five team fouls for the Lady Cardinals. None for Angelina in the fourth quarter. No team fouls for Angelina in the third quarter. According to the scoreboard, anyway. <laughs> well, I'm hesitant to say. That. I'll tell you, going back, Amani, as she walked by, I could see the uh, I could see the knot on her head from the last one that was a no call. Uh, so I'll I'll just leave it at that. 53-38, 107 to go. Cardinals up 15 at the stripe here. It'll be Walker. Five team fouls against Trinity Valley. Angelina yet to pick one up here in the third. Walker looking for her 17th point in the contest and she gets it looking for 18 now. She has kept the Lady Roadrunners afloat, really, to be honest with you, offensively. Yeah, they don't have her today, boy. That would be a quite the different story. Only hitting 67.6, .6, but gets both of those to fall. The so, Lady Cardinals, you got to, got to get, you hoping to get two more possessions this first half. They've got to be good possessions because we have not seen a good possession, to be honest with you, in several minutes for the Lady Cardinals. Now they've managed to get some points, but that doesn't mean they've been good possessions. Yeah, they've, they've got to get a clean look, run that motion. Looked a little out of sorts over the last uh, few minutes here. So see if they can get that cleared up in the final minute. Like I said, you're looking to get a couple of possessions before the end of this quarter. Sanderlin and Wamba both open in the paint moments ago. Now they get it to her, forcing it down low. Sanderlin kick out for three on the way. Not there, Sanderlin. Now it'll be 
Goodness, Edwards back to Sanderlin. Sanderlin for two. Kiara Sanderlin getting the basket. Sanderlin with eight points. That's a great two-person game they had going there. Well, I, I'm uh, kind of glad Rivera Scott. You D up the three here. You don't let him have a three-point play like you did at the start end of the first half. That really changes the whole complexion of the game. And that's how you do it right there. That, and you get a foul to boot, but it's just the first team foul. First team foul there. But, but you Probably can play for the foul. final shot, and you're guaranteed to have a 15-point lead going into the fourth quarter. In a game we said that they would probably like Angelina to be in the 60s, and I still think that would bode awfully well for the Lady Cardinals if Angelina got just into the 60s when you're at 55 right now yourself. Yeah, you're you're in pretty good position right here. You connect and uh, get a good look at the basket as 16 seconds on the clock. So a 15-point advantage, Trinity Valley. Trinity Valley has only scored 13 I think here it's worth, in the third. It's worth playing for a three right here, Tim. Kick out, three-pointer from Wamba at the buzzer. Count it, and that gives them 16 for the quarter, and they are up 58-40 as we get ready to bring the fourth quarter to you. Quick timeout. We come back after this. More coming up on the Cardinal Sports Network. Welcome back, Trinity Valley athletes. Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine and Joint Sports Medicine is here to keep you going at full force. Our commitment to helping athletes perform at their best on and off the field is our core strength. Whether it's orthopedics, performance, or wellness, physician-owned Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine & Joint Hospital is your choice for better health in East Texas. Just like every hard-driving Cardinal, we're focused on excellence every day. And we're back at Leon's Richard Court at Historic Cardinal Gym. You're not looking at a mistake there on the screen there, folks. Going into the fourth quarter, the Lady Cardinals are up 18 on the conference leading Angelina College Lady Roadrunners, having lost 82-78 to Angelina the first time around, in which a game in which they were down 26 at halftime. The Lady Cardinals led today at halftime 42-29, to outscored Angelina 18-11 in the third quarter. In a quarter that both Tim and I really caught the thought the Lady Cardinal offense suffered a little bit or lacked a little bit. They still outscored them 18-11. Yeah. They're playing awfully well defensively, Tim. I, I was really second and quadruple guessing my math there because it just felt like Trinity Valley wasn't doing anything offensively, which they only had 16. 13 before that last second three by Liddy. But only 11 for Angelina. That's great deal. No doubt about it. And as we start the third, fourth quarter of Angelina's the ball, Angelina's got to open things up a little bit offensively and probably going to start shooting a few more of those shots from three-point range. you got to defend around the perimeter. Trinity Valley's done a great job of that today, trying to close it out here at home. 58-40 as we start the fourth. Good move. That's going to be a charge there as... Uh, the foul is going to be called on Janae Quinn. Yeah, Kennedy Davis stood in there and took it for the team. Good job there from Kennedy, the 5'7 uh, freshman out of Brandon, Mississippi. She comes up big there. Lady Cardinal's biggest lead in the contest is 19. They're currently at 18. Chance to make it, maybe take it to 20 with a good look here. Now, if you're the Lady Cardinals, Tim, the fourth quarter is a long way to go. And a charge on that one. I was about to say things maybe are going to even out here on the second half. There's, It's now six fouls to two in the second half. Um, <laughs> if you're keeping score. Huh? I am. And uh, <laughs> no, six two, though. Seriously, all, all kidding aside. So see Precious Ivy there in her fifth year at the college and won 17 and 14 overall. Played for two national championships in her career. Yeah, Come lady, up a little short on both, but still they've been there. And the Lady Cards are starting to look like. They, you know, you're doing this to the Region 14 leader up 18. They're starting to get that. They're starting to bit. get that swag. There's a good closeout defensively pulled down by Edwards. April up the floor. Pass tried to force it inside. Picked up by KJ out of nowhere. Three pointer on the way. Oh, no, they'll <laughs> settle it down. Thought about it. You thought about it for sure. I thought she was setting up for three, but the wiser move there. KJ for three, right side on the way, not there. Pulled down by Jade Fry. Here comes Quinn. Block from Wamba. Good defense here from Liddy Wamba. Yeah, Angelina's in a situation, Tim, we talked about it so many times. They can't afford to change buckets for the Lady Cardinals. No, and nobody, nobody scored thus far. But. Yeah, they're, they're in a tight, tight spot. They're going to have to go on a crazy run. 
considering they had 11 points in the third quarter and they're down 18. Good steal there that time from McMahon. Maybe Cardinals can't have these opportunities to get away. Yeah, they, they were cruising here in the first half but have really struggled in the second half to get points. Knocked away underneath. Sanderlin with the quick hands. But the Lady Cardinals are defending their fannies off today. I'll guarantee you that. Here comes Davis bringing it up the left side. KJ right in front of the Cardinal cheer on the baseline there. Sanderlin. Ten on the shot clock. Just running a little clock here today. Mwamba lets it fly. Not getting the shot. Monty Jenkins about to check in as is Baxter. Both with three fouls. Now both of them have three. Walker having a great game. She's got 20 well beyond her 19.9. Well, not well beyond, but beyond her 19.9 <laughs> average. That's yeah, like long, a 10-hour long, long, long way to go. I'm rubbing off uh, on you after all these years. <laughs> a, it's a 58-42 ball game here. Trinity Valley. Eddie Combs, you've got to be careful, though, still, Tim. I mean, yeah. 16 points seems like, I mean, it is a lot, but you just can't keep throwing the ball away. Here's a nice give and go. Shot back, and Wamba with the basket. April Edwards is so unselfish. April Edwards reads that two-person game, two -person game, as I like to call it, so well. Yeah, she does. She does. Timeout taken here as Coach Byron Coleman wants to talk it over with his team. It's 60-42, TVCC leading over Angelina on the Cardinal Sports Network. Prosperity Bank offers free checking. Let's take a look. No monthly maintenance fee? Check. No individual check fees? Check. Free debit card? Check. Unlimited withdrawals? Check. Free online banking? Check. Easy access and friendly service? Check. Close to home? Check. Simply free checking from Prosperity Bank is simply free. I'm taking these checks to the bank. Prosperity is the big bank with your community's bank inside. Prosperity Bank, where you find real bankers, not just a bank. Benny Rogers along with Tim Howard on the Cardinal Sports Network. Tim, I think if you'd have told Precious Ivy going into the fourth quarter or early in the fourth quarter, her team would have four three-pointers and Angelina would have four three-pointers. She would have said, I'll take it. I think you're right. And as they, uh, you know, have, have basically traded threes, that's a huge lift for Trinity Valley as Wampa closed out the third with that three-pointer and uh, has, you know, you, you look up, this is a team that is averaging Eight three-pointers a game. Angelina has got half of that right now. They've got to get on it. If they get their eight, they're going to be back. They don't have a chance to stay in this game. But if they don't get four more in this quarter, then they're probably going to suffer. But I will give Angelina credit. For their attack today has been more primarily, let's attack of the goal with the Lady Cardinals. Get an outside shot if we can. And it's been effective as far as getting the Lady Cardinals in some somewhat foul trouble. Two Lady Cards on the floor with three apiece right now. Of course, you're in the fourth now. You can afford to be a little more aggressive with that lead and the uh, clock dwindling. Well, she let <laughs> she let Quinn ride her so long. Now, Byron, Byron's the protest in that call, but then Byron. They were handing out a saddle over there. <laughs> Not just any saddle. It was a customized saddle after it, they had time to. And, and by the way, folks, I'm just kidding with Byron. I like Byron. He's a, I consider him a friend. Like you said, so yes. just, just having some fun. That's your buddy. Here is a uh, pass off. Cards are in a little motion here. Ball got knocked away. Just kept alive. Great job by Davis. Yep, steps. steps. They won't let you do that. Amani gets called for the travel there. We're about four minutes into the fourth quarter, and it's two to two. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, not the most. Which, Lady Cardinals, you're okay if it's two to yeah, two. Yeah, because you you had a 18-point uh, cushion to go to start this thing. But man, in the second half, 13 points total for Angelina. Yeah, it's been a shutdown by the Lady Cardinal defense. Great D by the Lady Cards. Good defense right on cue. As Look, Jenkins goes straight point, up and down. Tim. Angelina has only scored 13 points in the second half. That just jumps out at you. And this is a, a high-powered scoring team. They, they had 82 against Lady Cardinals down in Lufkin. Wow. Trinity Valley turning the tables on them today. Up 18 in the fourth quarter. Skip pass over in the corner to Edwards. Three at the clock. Well, steps in, shot on the way, not getting it to fall. 
All the way to the basket, and a foul going to be called here. Is that going to be on Jenkins? I think so. It's going to be fourth. If it is on number three. It is her fourth personal foul, second team foul. It is shooting foul. Liddy Mawama is going to check back into the contest. Liddy comes back into the game with a team high, 19 points. The leading scorer in the game is number five for Angelina Myra Walken. Walker, I should say, with 20. So we'll see how Quinn does this trip. She's hitting 70%, 69.2. Gets that one to go. Lanzelina's got to have a mile, that's for sure. I love it. Janae uh, stepped into the lane and gave some fake high fives. There's no teammate <laughs> in there to give them to, so she looked a couple of uh, cards. You, you got to make the best of what you got. <laughs> and uh, Lady Cards didn't congratulate her on hitting that, by the way. So here's the second one is good. Back to a 16-point game with 524 left. Game. Yeah, you, you got to close this thing out still. Lanzelina coming with full court pressure. Lady Cardinals have not had a good offensive second half from the standpoint of offensive sets, I don't think, Tim. Yeah, it's they're, they're trying to eat clock, but not really getting good looks at the basket. That's a great dish underneath. Count the basket. Baxter going strong. That'll be her first points of the game. Chance for a three-point play. Lady Cardinals have done a really good job on that two-person game today. Yeah, they have been always at the, the uh, forefront here. As this time, it was uh, Davis dishing. Three for three there for Brianna. Sixty-three, forty-four, three-pointer on the way. Not there, boy. That took two bounces. My Nobody gosh. could get to it. Lost her footing. Byron's about to get teed up. Yeah, he just got one. It's coming. <laughs> official oh, looked at it. Coming him. from across the floor. Oh my goodness! The, the official's giving him like three warnings. Byron's got to be careful if he gets a second. He's, he's There's gone. an official warning. So uh, timeout on the floor. I don't think Byron has picked up two texts here. Has he? If he's gotten a, a one warning, I know. Got a warning, and I never saw the uh, timeout called a, or or a technical. So I think they gave an official warning. Let's. A step away. We come back four <laughs> with seven to go. We better. It's a 19-point game. Trinity Valley over Angelina on the Cardinal Sports Network. When joints begin to fail, it's more than an inconvenience. The relentless grinding pain slows you down and can even stop you from doing the things you enjoy in life. At UT Health East Texas, our skilled orthopedic and sports medicine experts are using advanced joint technologies to get you back to being you sooner with a less painful recovery. We're doing more than restoring joints. We're restoring lives. Your favorite thing delivered right to your door means that you never have to stop doing your other favorite thing. Nailed it. Order McDelivery in the app. 4.57 to go here, Trinity Valley. Leading by 19, Angelina, long way to go to try and get back in this one. Yeah, Byron's just looking out for his team, trying to make, defend his team and everything. But I think the call was correct, but he's making his case. And he, I was afraid Byron was going to pick up a technical foul. And you just don't want to do that because if you get, get a late, another one, then you're going to be missing two games. Lady Cardinals just throw the ball. I just don't understand. I don't understand. Go, Lady! But three on the way on the other end. That's a big one there from That's, Rivera. Yeah, 16 point game again. Rivera Scott keeping them in it. Alicia River, Rivera Scott now down the floor on the other end. The basket counted. Lady Cards broke the press that time. Way different result as Mwamba is over the 20 point mark with 21. Rivera Scott for three. Not there. Mwamba clears it. Well, Brianna Baxter was pushing underneath, and Byron's pleading the case there, and he may have a case there. Oh, my goodness. Mwamba with another easy one after they break the defense up front. Leading with 23. She had 36 the first game against Angelina. She may be headed there again. She is getting close. Less than four minutes, though, Tim. 20-point ball game inside the four-minute mark. Wamba, she's doing it all here out of the timeout. Going to go up with the left and left it short. <laughs> Reverse Scott over for three. That's a good-looking shot. Not getting the 
Result, though, pulled down by KJ and Davis up the floor. They got numbers three on two. April Edwards not getting it. <laughs> little dodgeball action to get out of the way of that one. But it was out on Trinity Valley. April was standing outside, so she, she had to get out of the way. Otherwise, it's an easy call for the official. But, hey, maybe uh, it was last touch by the Roadrunners. She didn't know. It's the fourth quarter. Lady Carpenter had blown two straight layups, and they're up to 20. <laughs> wow. I, that kind of summarizes it today. Really kind of puts it all in perspective. Trinity Valley was up 42-29 at the break. 18 points for Angelina here in this second half after having scored 82 against Lady Carver the first time around. This may be a Lady Carver team that's sending the warning. They are definitely raising eyebrows. Foul are going to be called on, this time it'll be on KJ. That's her fourth foul. Yeah, I think the Lady Cardinals are okay on that on that foul situation now. With I know Imani's got four and KJ's got four, but I think they're I think they can survive the final 307. We've seen them survive a lot longer games. Oh my goodness! Good replay, great job with the replay. Free throw is good, 67-48. Quinn at the free throw line here. She's had a pretty quiet afternoon, only four points. Lady Cardinals average 79.4 points coming in. They may not get there today, but I don't think there's gonna be any complaints about that. Well, they were well on their way at, at uh, after starting off 25-17. Just a great start. That's That's been the difference in this one, putting the pressure on Angelina all day long. 15 on the clock. Guava thought about, now works around. Pass down low and a foul. It's going to be against Andre. Yeah, Maria Escobar. Escobar Andre. Fourth team foul against Angelina. Three for the Lady Cardinals. 2.45 left. Lady Cards up 67.49. Entry level. Underneath. Baxter. Bucket. There's that two person game again. Yeah, they get the ball in on the inbound to Mamba, who quickly gets it over Brianna for two. Knocked away. Good defense. It's been the story of the, the game. No doubt. KJ gets it over the stripe. They're going to run a little clock here. This is a different Lady Cardinal team, folks. I'm just telling you, it's a different Lady Cardinal team than we saw about four weeks ago. Yeah, they, they definitely are putting it together. And, you know, not that the, the team they had before wasn't, it just. That extra well, two on bodies. They were doing this on effort. Yes. On. Yeah. Now you've got the the firepower to go with it. And KJ says, let me put a little exclamation point on that. That's a KJ runner there. That's her patented shot. She's so fun when she's driving in traffic like that. Pulls up. Let's apply. A minute 50 to go. Oh, Precious Ivy's going to visit with us after the game, Tim. Look forward to that. So with a minute 45 to go. There's a charge coming here. And they will ring up Quinn. Janae Quinn picks up the foul. That'll be her third foul. Fourth foul, excuse me. Pardon me, that's her fourth foul. Seventy-one forty-nine. Trinity Valley leading here with Minute 35 to go in this one. They'll get it down to Baxter. Baxter's got five points in the last couple of minutes. There's a three on the way from, nope, not going to get it to fall from Edwards, but an offensive rebound, and the putback by Bush is fouled. Oh. Maddie going to the free throw line. It's like a clean block. I, you know, I kind of glanced away, and I missed it. Maybe we'll get a look at that one here a moment, too. She may have gotten over the body, but it sure looked good up, up, up above anyway. See what the, here's a look at it. Yeah, I got well, she, her down she, low. She came down and got her. And the free throw is good for Madison Bush. Maddie with three points in the contest. Also out of Mississippi. She's out of Leland. 5'8 freshman. Two for two in Trinity Valley. Cruising along this afternoon up 73-49. Don't forget, coming up, we've got, uh, we'll have a sit down with Coach Precious Ivy. 
as well as the double header today. There's a steal taken by Edwards. Passes off, here's a drive, shoot, and score. They're at 75. Inching closer that 81 point average. And coming off the floor, they'll talk about it. Timeout as Trinity Valley is well on their way here to getting within a game of Angelina. Uh, let's keep it here and talk about what this could mean if they win this one today. Well, Should be able to take care of business. The rest of the, the, rest of the league is going to see the score. And they're going to see where they just had a big 27-point win over Tyler at home. Yeah. They're going to see where they come back and reverse the score when they lost. They 82 points to Angelina the first time. And you maybe give up 50, less than 50, maybe less than 50 in this one. There's a minute and one left in this one. It's going it's to it's, it's start to resonate in the league. And the eyebrows are being raised. Because I already told you there's one coach in the league that has said that Imani Dick is back on the squad. Lady Carter's had the best team in the league. Yeah, if we can look at those. I don't know if we've got the uh, conference standings uh, in front of us, but... Man, coming in, Angelina 9-1 and one in conference play. Trinity Valley going to move within one of them yeah, here. There's the standings there. You see what the, this is going to make. Move the Lady Cardinals to 8-3. and three, Drop Angelina to 9-2. and two. That's a one-game difference. It's 10 oh, man, it's going to be interesting to see how this thing plays out. So final minute of this one. A long three on the way. <laughs> and that, that is going to be around the world. Hits the cylinder. Goes off high off the glass. Six three rolls. pointers for Angelina, and they had six in the first quarter down at Lufkin. Wow, that does does tell the story, doesn't it? 75 52. Trinity Valley gonna try and uh, almost dribble it out. About 10 seconds difference. So they cannot quite finish it off, but they can run as much of it down. Here's seven on the clock, driving and foul going to the free throw line. It's gonna be on Andre. That's her second foul. So send Maddie Bush to the free throw line. Maddie's got four points in the contest, two of them coming at the free throw line. Correction, I I, I had uh, that one on Andre. It's actually on Morgan. Get a good look at it here. Could have really went on either one. <laughs> so the free throw is up and good for Madison Bush. You mentioned it, uh, probably not getting to that 81. But, boy, they've gotten awfully close here because they, they kind of hit a, a lull there offensively for the better part of a, the third and the start of the fourth. So this one will, well, it's going to be a big, big opportunity here. 77-52. Trinity Valley going to close it out. And a oh. Oh, blocking foul That's with... Bree stepped out perfectly. Bree is going to foul out with 4.5 seconds to go in this one. So, Trinity Valley. And she just, just picks up her fourth. She's got four with 4.5 to go. Let's see if she can get out of here. Tim, be careful there. It's still a long way to go. Shot is short. And that's how this one will end. Trinity Valley gets the W. 77. 52 TVCC is victorious. We're going to have uh, Coach Precious Ivy joining us momentarily, but many of the uh, numbers. Lady, Lady Cardinals outscoring Angelina 37 to 23 in the second half. Wow. One more time. I missed it. 37 to 23 in the second half. That's a huge, huge uh, difference there. Trinity Valley gets the win over the uh, Region 14 leader, Angelina. Now it's a one game difference. And this team is really coming together. We'll step away for a quick timeout. We'll come back with Coach Precious Ivy right after this on the Cardinal Sports Network. When joints begin to fail, it's more than an inconvenience. The relentless grinding pain slows you down and can even stop you from doing the things you enjoy in life. At UT Health East Texas, our skilled orthopedic and sports medicine experts are using advanced joint technologies to get you back to being you sooner with a less painful recovery. We're doing more than restoring joints. We're restoring lives. Sometimes managing your health and keeping track of all the details can feel a little overwhelming. 
But UT Health East Texas Virtual Care makes it easy to stay connected with your health care. You can message your doctor, see test results, pay your bills on time, and even request on-demand video visits to be seen right away from the comfort of your own home. All through your smartphone, tablet, or computer from virtually anywhere. Less stress, more living. Your team needs So that we are joined by dancing Precious Ivy. <laughs> she just celebrated for squatting mid at half court there last year. She was here. Precious, I'm guessing if I'd have told you coming in, a team that beat you 82 to 78 in third place the first time around was only going to score 52 points to get you to your place, you would have taken that. Absolutely. We talk about just defending people, especially um, – the second time around, um, I mean, I didn't feel like we defended them at their place. So that's been a point of emphasis um, since we left there, really. I mean, we just got to defend everybody in Region 14, as you know. So I thought the girls did a really good job. Our goal was to keep them under 60. And uh, did you say 52? Yes. 52, that's amazing. Um, that eight-point gap that they left right there I thought was really good. Um, I think everybody was um, on the same accord today. And we all just wanted to get the win. So we knew it would start on the defensive end, and they did just that. They checked it up on that end. Here's a couple of interesting numbers from the first game compared to this game. In the first game, you had 24 points at halftime. You had 25 after the first quarter today. They had six three-pointers on you in the first quarter against you the last time, and they only had six for the game today. Huge numbers there. Absolutely. Um, like I said, we've just been honed in on defense since, uh, really since we started. But I think after taking a couple of lickings uh, in the early part of the conference, we were able to uh, just kind of sit down and regroup. And obviously, you see we got a few more bodies back on the bench, which always helps a kid will go harder and play harder when they know they got a sub. So I think just having more bodies and us really focusing on the defensive end has really helped tremendously. That's one of the things I want to ask you, Coach. How, how, how much, uh, I don't want to say easier, that's not the word, but how much, how, how much pressure does it take off of you not having to work through that equation of, oh, man, we've got seven players and I've got two fouls, I've got dings and all that. I mean, it's, you guys are raising eyebrows not only across <laughs> Region 14 but around the nation. Y'all put it together. Absolutely. Uh, like I said, we had six, I think, when we went there. I think we started with seven and somebody might have got hurt or something like that. But um, we had uh, – more bodies, like I said, on the bench makes the kids really want to uh, play harder on the floor because they know that they do have someone that will come in and have their back. So it's really played an uh, integral part, like I said, getting kids back uh, down the stretch, you know, because uh, if we are in foul trouble or even if we're not in foul trouble, just to give somebody a couple minutes so they can come in and apply the pressure has been really tremendous. And as you know, the deeper you are and the deeper you can go into your bench in this region, the better off you're going to be. Well, congratulations. Big win today. One game uh, within one game of the uh, lead. And I, you know, I, I was looking over five years at, at, at the Valley here and one, one uh, 18 and 14 after that. And uh, just, you know, doing it in every kind of way this year with with a short bench. So uh, congrats on on weathering the storm, I think is the words many you used earlier. It feels like this team's really putting it together. No, for sure. And I, I just applaud all the young ladies that's played for me because I'm not 118 and 14, like you just said, if I don't have players that buy into what we do here. Um, obviously, it's a tradition here and it's a culture. But if you don't get the right kids in here, then your tradition, your culture, it, it takes a pause. And it hasn't taken a pause because we've had the right young ladies and the right coaches just to uh, keep it going. So we're very very blessed, and we're appreciative and excited about this win. A lot of fun. A lot of fun left in this season. Well, you have a long trip to Bayville on Wednesday, and mm -hmm. you'll be back home here against Panola this coming week. So it's a big week coming up to set up the finish of the regular season. For sure. And then um, this Saturday uh, is actually the alumni game. So we hope to see some good faces in the crowd, uh, some ladies that kind of laid the foundation for these ladies that I'm coaching now to be able to do what they do. So we're excited about that. Pete, congratulations on the win. Congratulate your kids for us, and we'll see you next Saturday here against Panola. Thank you. Go Cards. Yes, sir. Indeed, they do just that. Trinity Valley goes strong and takes care of business at home today. Uh, Benny, they're within a game of the uh, leader. And, boy, Angelina's got to be kind of licking their wounds as they go back home after uh, Trinity Valley just took care of business and, and 
led coast to coast. Scored 30 less points this time around Ooh. against the Lady Cardinals. Hey, folks, that's going to wrap it up. The Lady Cardinals win 77 to 52 to go to 18 and 5 overall, 8 and 3 in conference play. You see, the, you see what they did to the red league there is, is the standings above. Angelina fell to 17 and 8 overall, 9 and 2 in conference. Lady Cardinals will be on the road Wednesday at B. Villa taking on Coastal Bend. They'll be at home here next Saturday against Panolo, a game we'll have for you on the Cardinal Sports Network. We're going to step aside, catch our breath. We'll have the men's game coming up at 4 o'clock or in about 24 minutes from now. So 4 o'clock, you'll have to re-log back in on the YouTube channel and find the men's link, but you'll find it, and we'll have the men's game for you here in about 25 minutes. You're watching Cardinal Basketball on the Cardinal Sports Network. <laughs>